this is Mohammed Shakil here and uh, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can do the simple simulation for this particular spherical joint which was created in my previous tutorial so I highly recommend that you watch my previous tutorial so, so that you'll be knowing how you can do the spherical joint command between these two parts so if you have watched then uh, keep watching for to know how you can simulate it so let's see you have uh, two parts right here in front of us and uh, these parts are mated with the spherical joint so we have three degrees of freedom as you can see that under the application mechanisms so let's see what are the three degrees of freedom which they are showing so i'll go to the assembly design workbench and i'll go to edit move manipulate and I'll click on the with respect to constraint and uh, I'll click on X it doesn't move Y it doesn't move Z it doesn't move it means that it is not having the translation uh, degree of freedom in three axes now let's see it has uh, rotation degrees of freedom X axis it has Y axis it has and the Z axis it has. So it means that the three degrees of freedom which they are talking about over here and are the rotation of X, Y and Z axis. So you need to uh, create some joint so that the joint is going to allow this particular part to do the uh, movements only in one particular axis or one degree of freedom. So for doing that I'm going to come back to the DMU kinematics design workbench and I'm going to insert another part insert new part under the same product and uh, my that part is going to be a simple sketch so as you can see here it's a simple sketch and uh, Now I'll uh, invoke the DMU Kinematics Workbench and uh, now I'll go to I'll go to the uh, new joint and uh, I'll select I have selected the Revolut joint and uh, you're selecting the revolute joint because you want this part to do the revolution with respect to only this axis you're constraining this part from three degrees of freedom to one degree of freedom so I'm going to show the two axes one and two and the planes one and two I'll click on angle driven make sure you're clicking on angle driven and click OK still this uh, uh, still the uh, you know assembly cannot be simulated because again you have three degrees of freedom to constrain it once again you need to go to insert and uh, do a rigid join between the part 3 and part 1 and click OK and now you have the mechanism to be can be simulated uh, dialog box right here that means that your object is ready for simulation now you open this and double click on the speeds and acceleration move your slider backwards and uh, rotate your object maximum and uh, move it on the right side rotate your object and now move your slider back and click on play and you can see the simulation happening so uh, this is how you can do the simulation uh, for you know the spherical joint and uh, this is a simple method of uh, doing the spherical joint simulation in Kitsia V5. So I hope you enjoyed my video and uh, keep watching, keep subscribing me, liking my videos. And I need all your supports to keep uploading more and more videos. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching.